Hi, welcome to Moo Math. Today we're going to cover several topics. We're going to review radical expressions. We're going to learn how to um, evaluate uh, radicals without using a calculator. Um, got a couple of those, and then we're not going to use a calculator. We're going to work on without a calculator um, today, and then we're going to try to simplify some without using a calculator. So we're not going to do the calculator ones today with a calculator today. So let's real quick review how to simplify radical expressions. So this problem right here, what we have is we have this cube root of 8. If you remember, cube roots, we have to break them down. Um, so we want to find the factors, and it's 2 times 4, and 4 becomes 2 times 2. So for our cube root, we want to find groups of 3. So we have 3, 2, so the cube root of 8 is just 2, because what it means is 2 cubed, or 2 times 2 times 2, is equal to 8. Okay, now we need to find the fourth root of uh, 256. So let's break it down. This is going to break down to 4 times 64, and then 64 is 4 times 16, and then 16 is 4 times 4. So since this is a fourth root, we need to find 4, and there you go, we have 4 fours, so the answer is just simply 4. Now let's look at the cube root of negative 64. Well, that can break down to negative 4 times 16. And then that can be negative 4 times negative 4. So we have 3 negative 4s, and that becomes negative 4. So the cube root of negative 64 is negative 4. Okay, when we have a cube root or a fifth root, any odd roots, and you've got negative um, under the radical, then your answer is going to be negative. So really, we just need to figure out what the fifth root of 32 is. 32 is 2 times 16, and 16 is 4 times 4, and then 4 times 4 are 2, 2, 2, and 2. So the fifth root of negative 32 is just negative 2. Okay, and then for number 5, we want to find the 4th root of negative 81. Well, 81 would break down into 9 times 9, and negative 9 times negative 9, but 9 does not give us negative 81. It gives us positive 81, but let's keep trying. Okay, so to get a negative 9, we'd have to have a negative times a positive, and then another negative times a positive, and that would give us positive 81. So anytime you have a fourth root, you cannot have a negative under the radical at all. So this one was just does not exist because you can't take a fourth root of a negative number. Okay, and this last one is the cube root of 347, or 343. And I know it's a factor of 7. It's 7 times 49. And 49 breaks down to 7 times 7. So 7 times 7 times 7. That means the cube root of 347 is just 7. So there's a quick review of cube roots and square roots. Okay, now let's try to evaluate these rash radicals without using a calculator. So what you want to do first is you want to start with just the inside. Let's try to evaluate the cube root of 125. So what, you got to think, this is your think, little think bowl, what times itself, 3 times, gives us 125? And the answer would be 5. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, because 5 times 25, and then 5 times 5, and there's our group of 3, right? So that's just 5. But then we're going to take that answer and we're going to square it, so that simply simplifies to 25. Okay, let's look at the square root of 49 cubed. Well, let's look at the inside first. What's the square root of 49? And that's 7. Take that and cube it. And that's 7 times 7 times 7. And that's 343 as our answer. So we can do these pretty easily without a, radical, without a calculator. Okay, let's look at this one. The cube root of negative 8 all to the 
fifth power. That is going to be negative 2, because we know that's the cube root of 8, all to the fifth. Well, we know the answer's got to be negative because we're raising to an odd power. It's negative 1 to, or negative 2 to the 5th is a negative. And then 2 to the 5th is 32. So there's our answer, negative 32. And this one is the fourth root of 81. Well, we know 81 is 9 times 9, and then that breaks down to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So we've got 3 as the fourth root of 81 all to the fifth, and that's going to be basically 81 times 3, which is, what, 243, and that would be the answer, right? Let's double check that. i got to just make sure that's right. 3, yeah, 243 would be the answer, okay? And that's how you simplify those. So if you have one that is written, uh, if you've got one now written as a rational, so you don't have that radical form, what may be helpful is write it as a radical. So this is going to be the square root of 9 all to the 5th. Well, that's a little bit easier because what's the square root of 9? That's 3, and 3 to the 5th is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 3, which is 81, times 3, which is 243. We just multiplied that a second ago. We know that one. And then this one would be, hmm, let's rewrite it. We have to take the cube root of 27 first. Then we're going to take that answer and we're going to square it. Okay, the cube root of 27 would be 9 times 3, or 3 times, there it is. It's, hopefully you see it now. It's 3, so 3 all squared, which is 9. And that's our answer. So hopefully that's kind of giving you an idea of, oh, we got a couple more we can practice. We've got negative 8 to the 1 third, so what is the cube root, right? That becomes the cube root of negative 8, and then we know that's just negative 2. And then this one is going to be the cube root of 2 16 all to the negative second power. Hmm, what's the cube root of 2 16? I believe that's 6, right? 6 times 6 is 36 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3, and I do, yeah, okay, so we've got 6 all to the negative second, well 6 to the negative second is, so when we have a negative, that means it needs to be in the denominator, and then we're going to square the denominator, so that's 1 over 36, so you have to remember that little rule about negative exponents. Hopefully this video was helpful as we walked through how to do, how to simplify radical and rationals. Um, have a great day.